Hi there, we're going to take a look at how to do a translation using tracing paper. We have a translation function which tells us what we're going to be doing. We're going to be T translating a triangle, this triangle here, and then in the corner you have an L and an M which says we're going to travel from L towards M in that direction. So we're going to be sliding downward. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the tracing paper and we're going to trace the triangle that we want to translate. So we trace the shape. I'll sort of exaggerate the three points. And we put a dot on L and M. We want both so that we can see if we accidentally turn our paper, the second point will go off of the line. So we want to stay on the guideline. So we're going to start at L here and slide it until it gets to M. And we're going to stay on that guideline. And when we do that, we will end up here. So we can poke a hole through each corner. Well, what we could do is we can actually go to the other side and color in the three dots. Then when we slide it down, we can draw over them and it will transfer over. So we could see the three points here, here, and here. And we would connect the dots. Otherwise, we can poke three holes in our tracing paper. We can poke a hole, poke a hole, poke a hole. We can do the translation, slide it and draw through the little holes we poked. So here's another translation. We're translating a rectangle from M to N, from M towards N, this direction. Now, if we were to trace this shape, and trace M and N, if we slide up this path, we're sort of estimating that we didn't rotate it. So in order to not estimate and be more accurate, what we want to do is we want to connect the dots and make our guide, make our pathway, so that we can make sure the two points we traced, again, stay on that pathway. So we're going to go from M towards N, this direction. We slide it up. We make sure both points stay on the guideline. And we can poke a hole through each corner. And we can trace through the holes. Or we can go to the other side, color it in, and transfer it over that way. So that's the idea of the translation. We have our new version of P. So we simply take the direction and we slide it from whatever letter we start on top of the other letter. So in this case from M until N and we draw the new shape. Make sure you have your guideline 